Our next movie is named Repo Man, and the plot of this movie, which is as different from Kiana Scotsy as you can probably get, the plot of this movie probably holds the record for the longest reach of 1984. It reaches all the way from a team of men who repossess cars to aliens from outer space. And along the way, it develops a wacky, offbeat sense of humor with a lot of satire on the American consumer society. The film stars Emilio Estevez as a young kid who's looking for a job, and it also stars the legendary character actor Harry Dean Stanton as the veteran repo man who explains the ropes to him. So how much do I get paid? 25 bucks a car? Paid? You don't get paid. Are you kidding? You work on commission. That's better than being paid. Most cars you rip are worth two or three hundred dollars. Fifty thousand dollar Porsche might make you five grand. It turns out that one of the cars they want to repossess has an alien in the trunk. Oh, dookie wookie hurt his little hand. You, Archie, just for that you're not in the gang anymore. I'm taking over now. I'll leave it out. King Archie, the invincible. Shut up, Archie. Hey, Duffy, watch this. <laughs> The special effects don't overwhelm this movie, and so when they do show up, like there, it's a great surprise. Repo Man is one of the truly original American films of recent years, and so maybe it's no surprise that it was directed by an outsider, Alex Cox, an Englishman, whose second film was the punk docudrama I just mentioned called Sid and Nancy. This is a movie that slams a lot of different aspects of American culture into each other head on, and then it stands back to watch the sparks fly. And you know what I think one of the cult... Uh, items in this movie is, and that mm. really, basically, teenagers are renting this film. Yes, I know. They like the old guy. They like Harry Dean Stanton. He is one of these people in the 55 to 60-year-old age group who seems to speak the same language as disaffected teenagers, and when he gives them the repo code, which is uh, how to live like a repo man, it's almost like an ersatz uh, code for for teenage life. Okay, and I would have thought that the reason the kids are running this film, which I didn't like as much as you, is because of all the rebellious uh, and humorous stuff in the film. When they mm -hmm. talk about, let's go get sh sushi and not pay for it, uh -huh. that gets a big, big laugh in the theaters, yeah. and I'm sure it's funny at home. See, I think one of the, the key things in, the, in this cult stuff at home is, it is not being rented by the typical home renter, which is a little bit older. I yeah, think right. that kids who go to the movies a lot are also renting these films a lot, and I think that a key to any cult movie in the theater or at home, is that it be anti-authoritarian against the establishment, and this film certainly well, is that. Well, then who could be more anti-authoritarian than the old anti-authoritarian himself, Mr. H.D. Stanton?